G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. Now, first off, we're going to go through a quick recap. We're now cycle 12. And this is really where I want to sort of branch the series off into much more of a tutorial focused series. Okay, a lot less playing the game and a lot more taking you guys through core concepts of the game to have a self sufficient base as fast as possible. So going from the start to here, we've got a bedroom. We've got a basic, very, very basic bathroom. We've got basic water with a pitcher pump. We've got basic power with a coal generator hooked up to a couple of batteries. So hopefully when they add coal, we don't waste too much power trying to charge batteries that are already full. Um, we've got oxygen production, both with the algae terrariums, which are more efficient, but require duplicate um, time to maintain. Plus we've got a oxygen diffuser up here that at the moment we've disabled because we don't actually need the extra oxygen production. Although now I look at that overlay, maybe we do. Um, at the same time, we've got a mess room set up. Oh, we actually got a couple of rooms. We've got a mess hall set up, we've got a barracks set up, and we've got our early bathroom set up as a latrine. We're going to slowly get a, a proper bathroom up and running this episode. Um, we've got our job board up and running, so we're now actually getting our duplicate, different duplicates to get mastery of different levels. <coughs> Sorry about that. We've got a basic farm up and running, which is having problems with, with polluted oxygen wandering across it because we have polluted oxygen being outputted by the um, leftover water from the algae terrariums, along with the leftover bottled water from our wash basins. They're all things that we need to we need to deal with in time. So that's where we're sort of at currently. Now as I said, I, I really want to change this series to to deal with core concepts of the game. And honestly, I, I, I've tried this multiple times in the past to do a, a, a very tutorial driven series. And it's either led to lots and lots of editing or something that I really want to get done in a 20 minute episode taking 60 minutes plus and spread over three episodes to do because the duplicates are just slow. So this time we're going to be different. I'm going to turn on debug mode. We're just going to pause things for a second. And now I'm going to try and remember all the keyboard commands. Uh, control F4. Yep. So Control F4 gives me access to instantly doing things. Okay, so we're going to let all that crap drop to the ground. We're going to build in our tiles as we first suggested. We're going to go to the medication. We're going to get a sink popped in there. Um, we're going to go back to our plumbing. Uh, we're going to get our lavatories. Three lavatories. Two showers? No. Two showers. Four labs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. We're going to build in the tiles above. Uh, we're going to put in our plumbing pipes. That's our output. Uh, build the tiles in there. Bring the liquid pipe up. And join those all together. At the same time, I want to notch out a little bit more room up there. And we're just going to just get a few things done really, really quickly and snazzy, snazzy like this. Okay, so that gives us our bathroom up and running. Okay. 
Um, at the same time, germ overlay. Because we've isolated our germs by a single tile, they shouldn't spread into our actual existing tiles. So even though we can see that this off-gassing sort of looks like it's flowing up through the ground, luckily it's not. So, uh, no, where is room overlay? So room overlay, we can see we already have a wash room. Okay, so that will have the higher morale bonus when we actually hook up the plumbing to it. Now, plumbing-wise, we need a uh, liquid pump, which we already have access to, and that is going to be one of the conditions of this playthrough. I'm not going to, I'm not going to speed up research. I'm not going to speed up what the dupes are current. Uh, I'm not going to speed up anything else around the base apart from what the current dupes are currently working on. Like this tile up here that I really want done, we're going to wait for the dupes to manually get their asses up there and do it. So, uh, plumbing. We need a water pump down here. Um, because we need to pump water up into this system to get clean water in so we can flush nasty water out, basically. Uh, at the same time, I need to also get a water pipe all the way up there and a power line all the way down here. So I need to work out what's the best way to get both items in here. And the obvious answer is going to be dig, a dig across like that so we can have a ladder down. Now, I've got this step up here. So if anybody accidentally pees on the floor, Hopefully to pull in here and not seep into our, our nice clean water supply. Uh, we're going to take our plumbing pipe. And this is clean water in the bottom. We're going to run that down our ladder. Across here. Because we're playing as real as possible. Our dupes would need a way to get down into this water supply. We're then going to run our pipe into there. And our power wire across. Now, before I hook this up, there's a couple of things I want to cover. So, let's get rid of that so it's out of the way and turn that off. So, we're back to what technology we have available. Um, now, at the moment, I don't have any way. Once I hook this pump up, it's going to keep pumping water forever. What was that research? Oh, it's a job master. Okay. Cooking is master go for job. Alright, we'll come back to you. Um, once I start pump pumping water up here, I have no way to stop. Nope, I still have no way of stopping the water flowing up. Um, because our bathroom lavatory so it takes five kilos of water in but actually produces 11 kilos of water out obviously they're adding a little bit of liquid each time they flush the shower takes it doesn't actually tell you but from memory it's five uh, no here we go water one kilo in water one kilo out so it has for every kilo that comes it goes in a kilo comes out um, the medicine sink um, it doesn't actually tell you, but same story for every, for every one kilo that goes into that system, one kilo comes back out. But the actual lavatory adds more water to the system. So what I actually want to do, and this is where things get a little bit interesting, is I actually want to put a liquid bridge in, uh, so I want to deconstruct this um, I want to deconstruct this liquid pipe and we're going to put a liquid bridge in right here uh, and power I'm going to add a bit of wire there ok so what I've actually done is I've provided plumbing overlay so we have a 
pump that provides water out to an in which provides it out and then runs runs water further up. What I actually want to do is I want to hook this up and straight away we can see water will start flowing. Each one of these is 10 kilos of water and I probably want a couple of hundred kilos in the pipe. Um, that's actually probably enough. So I actually want to get a duplicate down here to deconstruct this pipe as fast as possible. So we hit the deconstruct button, we set it to priority 9. And hopefully somebody gets down here reasonably quickly and deconstructs that one bit of pipe. Anybody? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? Nobody? <gasps> They're all on their downtime. That's why. Timing is everything. Alright. Speed it up. Some are going to go to sleep. Some are, some are going to stay at work. Here we go. Okay. Unfortunately, the whole system's already pre-charged with water. So I've actually got too much water in the system. But now, I actually have a water sieve. Okay. So... We're going to pop this... Here. Uh, and actually, we're going to turn that back on for a minute. Uh, refinement. Water sieve. I'm going to pop that there. And this will again need power. At the same time, it needs building intake. Building... I don't remember how these work. Because we need to prioritize the water to come in from this machine. Um, and water pipes are a little bit funny. So I think if we put in a water bridge... It'll prioritize, I think, and that's why we're going to stop and confirm. Unfortunately, the whole lot's backed up. So, we already have too much water in the system. So, we need to unfortunately empty some water out of the system. So, we need to find somewhere else for some of this water to go. Luckily enough, we have this, this lovely set of algae terrariums down here that actually need a source of water for them to run and operate. Uh, in saying that, we actually need another piece of research to get them to run correctly, which is... I actually assume we'd already have it. That's a liquid shut off. I want the flow regulator. Plumbing. Yeah, it's not in there. Okay, research. Uh, liquid shut off, liquid reservoir, hydro sensor, insert a pipe, pressure management, liquid valve. Don't know why that's in the gas branch, but sure. So we actually need this item right here. Because we need to be able to run a controlled amount of water down to, to these um, plants. So... It means we're going to need to relook at that. Okay. So I want to do a liquid valve. A liquid vent, rather. Down here, I want to be able to trickle water onto... How algae terrariums. Uh, I 
and for the moment we can just do that. Uh, same story, we're going to copy and paste those. Where you can see the dupes are slowly getting along with things, so we're going to set up more storage. They've swept out most of. Uh, sweep. Seven. We want them to start clearing. Clearing the, some, some of the crap on the ground in their own um, living areas. We have a new duplicate, so we need to look at a new duplicate as well. Uh, this is somebody we desperately need. <sighs> Unfortunately, they have just about every debuff possible. Because um, we need somebody who has the creative the creative um, attribute. Okay, so this is one of those times we, we've come across, we've come across, like, we, we, we've got three dupes, okay? We've got a bonus to kindness. They're a mouth breather, so they actually use twice as much oxygen. Uh, so we go no to Harold. We've got Nisbet, who has plus five to ranching. We don't need a ranch. We already have a rancher. So Nisbet's useless. So then we got Frankie, who can't build, um, is more likely to get sick, has a um, decor bonus, which is great, um, and a creativity buff, so that they're, they're more efficient at creating decorative tiles, which is something we're, we, we're going to get into probably in the next episode or two. Um, they're, they're, they've got an athletics bonus, which is, again, great. Except the fact that they can't build means they can't build those decorative items to then constructively make those, you know, to, to... They can't build the painting to then... They can paint the painting, but they can't build the painting. So we're just going to reject all. We, we're going to get rid of them all. None of them do anything for us. Um... With the tech that we just unlocked, we have a liquid filter, which will let us sort liquids. We don't need that yet. We have a gas filter, a canister filter, uh, and a gas canister emptier. Uh, so the only one that you might want to look at, um, and there's a canister filler. So if you happen to have a lot of really horrible gas somewhere giving you trouble, you can actually bottle it up so it's out of your base at least. Uh, refinement, we've got an algae distiller, which will turn our lovely slime that we dug up down here into algae to run into your oxygen diffuser or your algae terrarium. So this one is a possibility of something you might need to play with. Uh, these can just go away so we don't have this annoying pop-up. And the ore scrubber, which we, we, we're not going to deal with now and probably not for a little while. So... Research is hopping along. That's really the next thing we need up and running. Um, so we can sort out our bathrooms. And they're plumbing priorities. So we're going to deconstruct that. Now, oh, actually, no, we don't need to, do we, do we, don't we? Okay, uh, actually, we need to look at Jobs Master. <sighs> because there's actually a job we need. We need a plumber. Or we could do with a plumber is probably a better way of putting it. So, Cook, our ranch, and Strength have all leveled up. So, Strength can go be a groundskeeper, which has the preference to tidy up things which is perfect because now we're at the point where we're really actually got the storage compactors down we really want to put stuff away in storage we have a cook which we actually really need somebody to start specializing cooking and actually start cooking stuff faster and the rancher ranching is here so they actually have to do farming first so now that we have the ability at least we might as well put them in farming to get them to start progressing through farming so eventually we can get up to ranching 
which still has a very, very high morale requirement. So we're not even close to that, but it is where we want them eventually. Now, in saying that, we now want to look at our priorities really, really quickly. And actually, first off, we need to, okay. So ranch, ranching plus five, we don't actually want them to do farming. We would really much prefer it if they uh, spent a little bit of tidying, a little bit of their, their effort tidying it. Um, same with the sous chef. So their object is to cook first. If there's nothing to cook, they'll actually go do research. That's perfectly fine. Um, copy those settings across. Okay, so we've unlocked early gas pumps. Again, something we don't need to deal with just yet. Um, there's plenty for them to, to pack away into storage. And, oh. No, nope, they'll, they'll get done eventually. Uh, so that's that research done. So we actually need the next level of research done, this one, which will give us the improved, um, uh, the, the, the way to, to limit the flow of, uh, of a pipe. Now, what we actually need to do is we need to deconstruct that one pipe there, which unfortunately when they deconstruct it, the water's gonna fall down and land on the floor. And straight away, I want to mop that up because whoever that was, strength. Nope. I don't even know who walked through it. Somebody walked through it and they got a debuff of uh, wet feet. Because obviously nobody likes wet feet. Uh, come on, somebody come mop this and get the debuff so I can show it. Here we go. There we go. Ranchy's currently got it. So they have... Um, stress. Soggy feet. Soggy feet gives them minus 10%. Oh, oh. Gives them 10% stress per cycle. Just because they happen to walk through some not nice water. Or water of any type. Um, so yeah, anytime you get water on the, on the ground, you really want to mop it up as fast as possible. Uh, so what we actually want to do is we want to have a liquid bridge here. Now, and actually, oh, uh, do we get that other research done? One, okay. So they deliver all the materials, but nobody had actually built it. Yeah, I just built it. Made the same mistake for a second time. Let's just finish the research. Really? One one tick away and you couldn't be bothered? <sighs> Frustrating chips. Okay. Let's turn on the, the creative mode again. So we're going to bring a liquid pipe all the way across. Where they're going to bring it down. We're going to put a liquid vent in. Um, that was the research we wanted. So we've unlocked a liquid valve. And I just want to pop that in there. And this will let us control how much flow goes through um, through this one section of pipe. I actually want to bring this right the way down. Um, I'm going to start with 200 grams per second, and a nice, nice low number. Now, the way a liquid valve works is a dupe actually has to come over here and change the priority on the valve. So Valves are one of those things that you don't adjust too often, so I generally turn the priority up fairly high. Because if I changed it, there's probably a reason why it's changed, and it probably needs to be changed sooner rather than later. Um, as for our liquid problem, what we're actually going to do is we're going to put in a liquid bridge, and I'll turn on that creative mode again. Gas uh, liquids are prioritized to go through a bridge first. So as you can see, straight away, all the water went through the bridge first. Uh, and then anything left over will 
run through this excess pipe. Uh, I need to remove that because water gets very, very confused when you give it multiple options. And we want to just simplify the, the water pipes. So, any excess water from our bathroom, and that's really what it is, it's the excess water, will come in. Uh, all the water will come in and, and fill up our toilets and everything else first. The excess water will flow down this pipe. Now, remember how I said our algae ter terrariums need water? We're now dripping water on them. It's not a massive amount, um, but hopefully it's enough to keep them running so our duplicates don't actually have to come down here and, and manually run water into them. Now, we can already see that this one isn't actually going up in um, water needed um, or, or it's it's still asking for a delivery of water so what I should do is we're just going to change that to one kilo a second and a duplicate will come down here and, and flick a switch because we actually want this this puddle of water to stretch basically all the way across um, so they all can just pull water straight out of the ground uh, or, or out of the, the, the floor tile they're sitting on. Has that changed? Oh, that's already changed. Okay, still, same problem. We've only got one tile's worth of water. So let's take that up again. 5k. Uh, and actually, because I've still got this mode on, it changes instantly. So we can see we're now getting water to about here. We go up again, 6k. Uh, and actually, there's no water left in the line. So all the water that was coming out of the water sieve um, has now wound its way down here. Now, what we can actually do is we can put a liquid bridge in there, run this pipe up and into here, and you'll see that our pump runs first. Our pump runs, but because of the way we've we've slid in, slid in through the middle of a bridge, this water pipe from the sieve actually takes priority. So this pump will stop running for for a second whilst it lets in water from the sieve. So we've actually prioritised that the water sieve has somewhere for that water to go and it is into running to our energy rooms. Main reason we've actually done that, and I need the system to run for just a second, uh, is this water that's actually being output. Uh, liquid pipe, can I actually click on the liquid? I don't think I can. No. So the polluted water and even the cleaned water out of the system still actually have germs in them. So it's something you need to keep mindful of. That even though the water is actually clean, in air quotes, it is full of germs. But what we've actually done this episode is we've got a new bathroom set up, which straight away means I can change these doors back to auto. And then what I can actually do is I can uh, stop duplicates entering this bathroom. So they have to use this bathroom instead. So they're all going to start getting that higher morale bonus from having the better bathroom. At the same time, I, I have probably too much water on the ground now. Uh, if I can get... Yeah, so it's counting up. So let's change that back to, say, 4K. Um, and it's just trial and error. Try and error to work out exactly how fast you can pump this water onto the ground so it doesn't actually pile up, and that's still too fast. So we'll go all the way back to one kilo. See, now it's going back down. So 
over a couple of episodes or over a couple of cycles, you'll find out the exact right ratio of water you need through this liquid valve to limit the amount of water being dropped onto the ground to feed these algae terrariums. Now duplicates still need to come and empty them. That's not going to change. Um, at the same time, um, they'll need to put in more algae, but they won't actually need to go and, and take from the pitcher pump clean water to come drop into these machines anymore, uh, into these algae terrariums anymore, because we've we've taken the, that job and we've automated it. Uh, and as we can see, because we've added more duplicates, our oxygen levels are getting low. So that's something we're going to have to look at in the next episode, probably. Uh, research... That's going to be one thing we need, and that just auto-researched it, uh, which is not something I wanted to do. So we've had to get... Actually, look, we'll, we'll worry about it all in the next episode. Anyway, that is the quick way to set up a, a self-sufficient bathroom, right? And make sure you have somewhere for that excess water to go. As you can see, this is already... Not enough water, it's all disappeared off the ground, so we go back up to 3k and eventually we'll find a happy medium. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you, you guys understand how this this bathroom works with, with very, very simple plumbing. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll look into oxygen generation, um, which is another place that we can send our potential excess water to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye.